a Central Texas celebration. I'm Dominique Lay, your neighborhood reporter in Waco. I'll tell you what's behind a big party this weekend and the brushstrokes telling how Waco came to be. What, what do you hope people are going to be able to like, you know, feel or see when they look at these paintings? Well, color for one, um, location, and of course, representation as, as the, a legacy. Waco artist Roy De Romero has been painting for more than 20 years, but it wasn't until 2010 when he started focusing on one of the founders of Waco. He even traveled up north to Philadelphia, New York, and even uh, Britain had tried to draw and speak of Texas and the Republic and the opportunities for immigrants to come in and uh, populate the Texas and prosper. The city is recognizing Jacob de Cordova and the role he played in establishing Waco in the early 1800s. He set aside a plots of land for schools and churches and green spaces. And so they were really ahead of their time in that, in, in making Waco to become what it has today. Former 25 News anchor Ann Harder, now with the Jacob de Cordova Society, tells me he referred to Waco as my beautiful daughter, and she feels something in the city should represent him. There's no Jacob de Cordova Street or things named after him. So, so in a way, he's a little bit unsung, and uh, we wanted to change that. 23 of de Romero's oil paintings will be displayed at an art reception acknowledging the 175th anniversary of Waco. He did build all these buildings and suspension bridge and all, but, but uh, it's a reflection as to his, his legacy that was never recognized, actually. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. If you wanted to see those oil paintings yourself, they'll be on display at the Cambria Hotel Ballroom on Friday, March 1st at 4 p.m. And on March 2nd from 11 to 4 p.m., Southern Rose Brewery will host a Waco block party. Your neighborhood reporter in Waco, I'm Dominique Lay.